In other news, it would appear to be the start of a trade war between the U.S. and China. The Trump administration's new tariffs on $34 billion worth of Chinese goods are now in effect as of Friday morning Washington time. China has said new tariffs of its own will kick in immediately. Trump says trade is a war America can't lose because it holds all the cards, but it's spooked markets, including here in Korea. Kim hye sung reports. It's D-Day. The U.S. has slapped tariffs on Chinese goods on Friday, the first shot in a trade war between the world's two biggest economies. As of Friday, U.S. Eastern Taiwan, Washington started taxing 818 Chinese products, including semiconductors and airplane parts that are worth 34 billion U.S. dollars a year. Beijing has vowed to hit back with tariffs on the same amount of U.S. goods, ranging from soybeans to pork. The move comes after President Trump repeatedly decried the U.S. trade deficit with China and accused Beijing of forcing U.S. companies to transfer their intellectual property to Chinese companies to enter the Chinese market. Following Friday's tariffs, the U.S. also plans to impose a second round of tariffs on $16 billion worth of Chinese products in about two weeks, another action China has said it would respond to in kind by imposing tariffs on U.S. products including soybeans, dairy products and automobiles. Experts are warning that an escalating trade war between the two superpowers could disrupt supply chains and hurt business confidence. Hyundai Research Institute estimates that if the U.S. imports of Chinese goods drop 10 percent, this will eventually cause Korea's exports to China shrink by more than 28 billion U.S. dollars. South Korea trades 37 percent of its exports with China and the U.S. In particular, it sells a lot of intermediary goods to China that are made into final goods and exported to the U.S. Growing trade tensions, tit-for-tat measures between Washington and Beijing could slow down South Korea's real economy. The Trump administration, in addition, has mounting clashes with other trading partners, in particular Canada, Mexico and the EU. Fitch Ratings estimates that a full-blown trade war between Washington and Beijing could cost the world economy some 2 trillion U.S. dollars. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.